Hello, 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 beautiful souls. I hope all is well with you. How are you? <sighs> guys, this is the end of the week for me. I don't know when you guys are going to see this, but for me, it is the end of the week. And I am thankful that I was able to have a blessed week. I hope you all had a blessed week. I hope you all have a blessed week. Because again, I don't know when I'm going to get this particular video up. But anyway, um, guys, today's video, I want to talk about relationships and how there's like this war, like this crazy freaking war on love and relationships. And it's it's to the point where it's like really scary. Like I I really feel bad for like the future at this point as far as when it comes to love. I'm always gonna bring up revelation because let's be honest, revelation's gonna happen. So that's ultimately the worst part. <laughs> The, the craziest part of the future but outside of the fact that the world is going to burn um love and relationships seems like it's just gone completely down the drain like people are like oh hell no nah. mm -mm. i'm good baby marriage me <laughs> me mary <laughs> like people are like people are like don't mention me and marriage in the same capacity at all. And I'm like, now again, hear me out, right? Because I know some people going to be like, girl, whatever. I don't care about what you're saying. I'm good. The reason why a lot of people are saying they're good, no thank you. It's not for me. It's not for everyone. These are all like, like mechanisms to cope with, defensive mechanisms. Because... You've gotten hurt probably more than once, or it could have just been over and over, over, over and over by the same person, and you've decided to just call it quits altogether. Why? Why would you allow that person to win? Like, I just, I, I like, I honestly, whoever's on the other side of saying I don't want anyone, I want you to really think about that. If your reasons is not literally, and I mean literally, 1,000%, if your reason for saying I don't care for marriage or love or relationships ever again, if it is other than God, God is, God is my center focus and I feel as though if I marry a person or get into a relationship with a person, they are totally going to distract me altogether from God. If that is w what you feel, and that is if if that's your reason why, if that's your honest reason why, then you know you ain't really gonna hear nothing else much from me because that's really literally between you and God. And even period, that's between you and God. But what I'm saying is that you should never disclose your heart out. Because you've experienced a bad situation from a particular person or people. Okay. Because that is what the enemy wants. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that doesn't mean just um, certain matters that you think. That means in every area of your life. Including your love life. If the devil can get you to give up on love and just say things like Jesus is my husband. I don't know what the men say. I don't I don't know if you're saying Jesus is your husband or is, is your wife. I hope not. But um I've seen a lot of those comments that Jesus is my husband. I'm married to God. I I'm married to God. Again, these are coping mechanisms. And instead of using your emotions or getting offended by this, because I'm pretty sure someone's going to get offended. And all I'm going to do is block you. I don't argue with people online anymore. Ben, stop that. All you're going to do is get blocked. Period. And, and then I'm going to laugh at you. So if you want to waste your time, go ahead. But you're literally going to get blocked. Instead of getting offended, really just think to yourself, why should I let one or 10 or 15, I don't know how many people you've dated or how many times you've been married, whatever the number is, 
ask yourself, why would I let these 10 lames, these 25 lames, this one or two bad marriage lames ruin my chances of literally finding or receiving my soulmate? Why? God also said in the Bible that it is not good for man to be alone. And I saw another chosen one video. I believe her name is Connie. Shout out to you, Connie. I love you. Have not actually seen the whole video currently right now, but I know the title says chosen one should not get married. I do not agree with that. That's my point. And like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, watch the video. But again, case in point, I was married before. Okay. And I married a narcissist. That was fun, right? That just made me want to love some more, right? <laughs> Ooh, that was the greatest time of my life, right? Yeah, no, he was awful. Still is. But God is good. God is amazing. God is always going to be amazing. And God is always going to be amazing. That is, that, blah, blah, blah. that is exactly why <laughs> sometimes my tongue is tied, guys. Okay, bear with me. That is exactly why I will never give up on love ever in life. God is love. When you read in the Bible over and over again, God says he, says he is love. And that doesn't mean because God is saying he is love, that he's the only one that you should be willing to open your heart to. God is saying he is love. And he also says in the Bible that faith, hope, and love will last. But out of the three, love will always triumph. So... Because God is love, if it is truly on your heart, match with other things. I'm going to go for these other things, okay? Because it's not just about you wanting it. There's other steps you're going to have to do. But if you have it on your heart and your mind, I want love. Vulnerable. You don't have to go out here online or go put it out on the street, but just have it in your heart. I truly do want love. Regardless of how many times I've been hurt, regardless of how many times I've been lied to, cheated on it, backstabbed, all that stuff, I desire love. That's number one. Number two, you have to use discernment. And number three, there's other things, but I'm going to do these three things for right now. You do not settle. Okay. Number two, if God places... Again, people, people are going to come and go in your life period. You're going to meet random people. You're going to have people that stay for a little bit. And then you're going to have the people that are supposed to be there forever. You have to use discernment. So many things happen, including in my life, including in my past marriage, including in the people who stabbed me in the back. I did not use discernment. And when I did use discernment, I gave people the, the benefit of the doubt. The benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's not just go into things open-minded. Let's not just go into things just believing something someone says. Because of, because of sin, because of sin, you have to examine everybody that comes across your path. And you have to really get to know these individuals. And there's certain things that just do not align if you are walking with God. There are just certain things that do not align. And you don't have to wait for your heart to be completely broken, crushed, okay, down in the dumps to understand that. Meaning, for example, you are a you are a woman who has a relationship with God. You are a man who has a relationship with God. And you are seeking a partner. All right. Why on God's green earth would you be dating a thug? Someone, who, someone who's literally out here for the streets running the streets, doing street activities. Why? Why? Okay, so that's one example I'm making. Two, um, let's say you've been talking with a person and you find out they've been lying to you for the first three to four months of your relationship. Why would you say? Why would you continue? Because they said they're sorry and it would never happen again. Or should you base it off the principle that, dude, we didn't even know each other. Were you first meeting a person and you're just giving out balls of lies for no reason? You're a walking red flag because why are you lying to a person you just met three or four months ago? 
If anything, that should be more of a reason for you to be completely honest because either someone's going to take you for who you are or they can leave. You find out a person was cheating on you. Why would you stay? Count how many times I blink. Somebody put in the comment section. How many times did I just blink? Like, I'm going to give you some more too because I don't understand. There's just certain things I'm just not going to understand. I'm a very logical thinker. I have emotions too. Don't get me wrong. But I'm very extremely logical. Thanks to my Libra skills. So, it's just certain things. If it's not making sense, I'm not buying it. The people that got over on me the most were narcissists. Because I didn't even know that narcissists exist. It wasn't until I Googled certain things and then narcissism just kept pop, 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 pop. And then I looked into it and I'm like, oh shit. I've been dealing with narcissists pretty much my whole life because I'm an empath and I'm a healer. And they're drawn to my light and my energy, but I didn't know that. So I got screwed a few times. But now that I know better, guess what? I'm doing better. And because I didn't just say, well, because my ex-husband turned out to be a piece of shit and tried to ruin my entire fucking life, I'm just going to give up on love because, I mean, <laughs> why do I, why do I want to get hurt again? Well, if that's your mindset and your mentality, that is exactly what's going to happen to you again. Let me tell you guys a, a quick, um, a quick little testimony and then I'm going to go into a longer video on that. When I um, bring my husband on here, because I will in a few videos from now. Um, but a quick testimony. When I was still married to my narcissist ex-husband, I we went to, we would go to church and the pastors there, I went to two separate churches actually. So I went to two separate churches, right? Um, because we moved. So the thing about that was both pastors they they didn't in my opinion they didn't give a shit um of course people are going to tell you differently but actions will always speak louder than words um but regardless of that i remember seeing at both of these churches because they always want to preach to you that god hates divorce don't remarry if you remarry or come in adultery wah 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 right scared tactics now, if I would have just laid in that, which I did for a while, but then I realized, um, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it. I'm not going to spend my life here on earth, miserable as fuck, married to a toxic piece of shit, just because a leader in a church, a so-called leader that in a church is telling me, stay and pray and just keep praying and just keep praying. No, leave people that are toxic, that are damaging for your mental health. Okay. And the thing after I told them that I was going to leave, I was going to file for divorce. I said, let me tell you something. There's going to come upon a day that I meet the man of my freaking dreams. Okay. He's going to be everything that I've ever wanted and more. He's going to treat me with so much love and respect and care. And he's going to love God. And he's going to love me. He's going to love our children and my, and my current children. And I will never get divorced again because we're going to love each other like it's our last breath. And let me tell you, I said this, I said this in 2018 and I said this in 2019. I met my current husband in March of 2020. Okay. Did I know that? Did I know all that was going to happen when I met him? Of course not. But I met him in 2020. Now, that's manifestation. I manifested that for myself. You would think a woman that was in the middle of saying she wanted to file a divorce from a man she, she was married to for about seven, eight years, and we had four kids together. You would think I would be like, no, no, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't want marriage. No, I don't want to ever do this again. Men are trash. Men are garbage. I never give my heart out again. Because this man wasted eight years of my life and I cannot afford to give another man chances with my heart to break. Guess what? If that was my mentality, 
that's exactly what would that's exactly what would have manifested. But even in that dark place, I said, mm -mm. no, I said, no, no, that's that's not going to be my portion. That's 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 not my final destination. OK, I kept my mind on positive, pure, lovely things. And God tells you to focus on that. Whatever is lovely, whatever is pure, whatever is kind, whatever is great. Think of these things. But yet we love to do the opposite. And then we wonder why we have depression, anxiety, taking, you know, taking yourself off this earth thoughts as well. Because what you're dumping into your mind and what you're speaking out of your mouth. So even in those, even in that painful place, I still said, no, I am deserving of a loving relationship. I am deserving of a loving husband. I didn't let him darken and burden my heart. That's exactly what he wanted to do. And that's exactly what the enemy wanted to do. And I believe the devil definitely operates through all narcissists. So the devil was trying to use him to destroy me. And apparently he was an open and willing vessel, whether he realized it or not. It's unfortunate, but whatever. I have better now anyway. So that's my point, is that I am in an extremely happy place. I didn't I didn't listen to the pastors. I didn't listen to the people trying to scare me. I didn't listen to, again, the, the, the threats and the, the insults from my ex-husband. I didn't listen to any of that. I said, I am going to have an amazing husband after this and that's exactly what happened so if you truly want love to work out for you you number one have to have a relationship with god period that is number one numero uno numero dos okay number two make sure the person you are dating and especially want to marry has a relationship with God. And I mean, it needs to be solid. I went about things wrong the first time. But the second time around, no. God is lining it all up for me. He answered my prayers and I'm thankful. Okay. Number three, you need to make sure that person is in a good headspace, mental health space, mature, and especially emotionally mature. They're honest. They're transparent. They're literally, there literally needs to be a check off box. Okay. I think that was like four things I named, five things. Make sure they respect you. Make sure they respect women or men in general. In general, and proceed with caution. Okay. Proceed with caution. Don't just jump and dive head into anything, especially when it comes to your heart. A lot of times we have to take accountability, even for the pitfalls for ourselves. Because when you guys hear about, <laughs> I can already see it now. Y'all going to be like, girl, what the hell? But mind you, I was 21, 21. So anyway, <laughs> um, you got to, you got to, you got to make sure these red flags, you're going to pay attention to them. Because I had, I, I had few red flags and I still proceeded. So as much as I just want to hammer him over the head, 100%, I give him about a good 80, 85, hell, even 90, because I'm really amazing. I really am. Um, I'll take 10% of that blame because I saw the red flags and I ignored them. I thought I could just love him through them. And that's what we do a lot of times. And then we get screwed over really badly and then we want to hate that person and hate other people in general especially from that gender and just say it's to hell with love when no and that again this is for both the men and the women so i'm gonna leave this here because i'm already going on like part seven and i don't want this to just keep being me rambling so i'm gonna close this out here i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna do a separate video for both the man and the woman okay so I'm telling you, I'm going to do a service for both genders. This is not just me being a feminist. This is not just me being a pick me. I'm literally going to make a video for both men and women 
when it comes to love and the lessons I've learned along my life's journey. So thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, you are a real one, right? You are the shit. <laughs> and I love you and God loves you. And never, ever, under any circumstances, close off your heart. If you want to take a break, if you want to relax, great. By all means, don't just jump, hop, 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 hop. Give yourself time. But to permanently just say to hell with love, I'm never going to encourage that. I will never encourage that. And I am a Libra, so we are over love and relationships. So that's another reason why I'm all for love, too. It's just naturally in me. Oh, sorry, guys. I kind of knocked my tripod. But um, yeah, real true love exists and is still out here. And your soulmate is still out here. Do not give up. Believe in God and believe in yourself. I love you.